The event at Queensborough Hall was hosted by city officials and federal agencies like FEMA to discuss preparedness for the upcoming hurricane season. But it was last year's storm that residents wanted to talk about to remind those in charge that they are still waiting for assistance. The destruction so devastating about 100 families still do not have homes and are staying in hotels, like the Shiprazad family. My parents are both seniors. They have been displaced almost a year since their house. They're not allowed to stay in the house because of a full vacate order that was issued by DOB in New York. Ida devastated parts of the New York City region almost exactly a year ago. Arguably, Queens was hard as hit. Tuesday evening, residents still dealing with the aftermath of the damage left behind are sounding off. There were more than 40 storm-related deaths in the New York, New Jersey area, including city residents who perished in low-level units. My house got damaged, went 35 feet of the basement, wall caved in, and two people died in the basement. It was a really, really disaster. It was like a tsunami. FEMA has approved more than 41,000 households in New York City and neighboring counties in the state for disaster assistance. Hundreds of millions of dollars have been earmarked to help residents recover and rebuild. But actually getting the money has been a challenge and continues to be so. We have unable to get any help, including from your insurance company, the city, the state. Due to the damage of the house, I had to apply for a small business loan. That was removed. All the money that I got from FEMA was taken back by the small business loans because they're saying that FEMA doesn't work, and that's how it works. It's a, it's a double standard um, system, as they call it, which I think is ridiculous.